Howdy y'all, Lone Star Rider here. I'm headed down to Waco, Texas with a stop for the night in Cleburne, Texas to visit a friend. Y'all stick around. Lone Star Rider on his motorcycle. I'm here at the uh, Loafing Dog here in Cleburne, Texas. And my friend David Canada is coming over here to meet me. Speak of the devil, here he is. Hey, David. Ooh. Nice day for a ride. Good. Over here in Cleburne, Texas, and I was uh, hanging out with David here that does the... Motorcycle Grand Tour of Texas. That's right. And they've got a uh, kind of a classic car meetup here or whatever going on, which is pretty cool. You always see the neat things. My dad had a truck like that that I flew over the railroad tracks one time with. <laughs> I can imagine. <laughs> <laughs> so it looks like a Willis Jeep. And it is a Willis Jeep. 2005 and it's yours today. All right. It's pretty cool looking. Yeah. Oh man, look at that. All the detail inside of this. Very cool. Yeah, V8 in it. Very cool. Somebody lowered their Volkswagen down so low the wheels are turning in. <laughs> Is that a 55 Chevy Bel Air? Woo! What a beautiful car. How you doing? Oh, doing all right. 67, 66? 65. 65. That's close. I used to have a 66. Fix or repair daily with a straight six in it when I was back in 76. Nice. Travato Street, and they have all kinds of candy, and they have a root beer bar, and they have all kinds of root beers here, which is really cool. And I had a root beer float with the brownie root beer and vanilla ice cream, very cool. But they got all kinds of different root beers. Here's one from Dublin, Texas. And uh, this is very cool. They've been in business for one year and it's a pretty neat place. So if you're in Cleburne, be sure to stop by here.
Hey, uh, Lone Star Rider here. I'm here near Cleburne, Texas. It's probably is Cleburne, Texas. Uh, off Foamy Road. <laughs> I'm looking for a geocache. Has something to do with the goat man. Uh, sounds like the one in Lake Worth. I uh, did not find this cache. I looked all over the place. Spent about 30 minutes here. Finally just gave up. No cache. Nice little spot, and it seems like it's a nice fishing spot because there's people fishing. Anyway, I'm making my way down towards uh, Waco today. Uh, I'm uh, just riding around <laughs> till I've got to go to my next uh, event, which is going to be in Bandera, Texas, next weekend, uh, the first part of October. So I'm going to be doing some wandering around this weekend. Um, so y'all follow along. <laughs> Today is a geocache day. I got four more or five more, five more? Four or five more uh, geocaches to stop on the way down to Waco. Hopefully I'll find the next one. <laughs> well, let's get going. Howdy y'all, I'm here in Bloom, uh, Texas, and I'm here at the uh, Bloom Cemetery. The Bloom Cemetery here has a historical marker, and this cemetery was built the same time the city was. Uh, it's pretty darn cool. I'm at this uh, cemetery looking for a geocache, and I found it. I uh, had to do a little bit of walking, but finally found it and was in a tree. <laughs> uh, the coordinates to this geocache will be down below. Uh, but very cool. And a very cool uh, cemetery, a lot of history here. So if you ever do make it out here, uh, stop by and check it out. Union flag. soldier. Has axes and hammers. Cool. I don't know what the year is in this. Kind of hard to read it. Howdy, y'all. Man, it's windy today. I'm in Huron, Texas here, and I stopped to see this historical marker. Uh, the U.S. Army established a fort here back in 1849, and the uh, town started to uh, grow when, when the railroad came through. I don't know if the railroad is uh, still here or not. I don't see any signs of it, but that doesn't mean anything. Uh, anyway, cool little stop it's the historical sign is right here at the Cedar Creek Baptist Church here in Huron I, I don't I might be butchering that it might not be Huron it's H-U-R-O-N Huron Huron uh, Texas here yeah <laughs> I don't know if you can hear me, but I got another geocache after I looked in the uh, the second flower bed, not the first one. <laughs> so I'm just uh, about five miles north of Huron, Texas, and uh, 
it's supposed to be an RV park or something over there. Am I right over there? Check it out. I don't know. Anyway, very cool uh, geocache. Howdy y'all, Lone Star Rider here. I'm just south of Whitney. This is probably Whitney. Whitney, Texas. Uh, I'm here at another geocache. I passed this spot probably a dozen times. <laughs> Never did notice these. This is why I love geocaching. It really shows you neat stuff. Yeah, the geocache here is called the Big Bobber. This is why. <laughs> Big old fishing bobber. A couple of them. Very cool. It's windy out here. And the other thing is this spaceship. <laughs> don't that. I don't know why. It's a, they got a flashing bulb going off in here, which is kind of cool. So it probably looks neat at night. I've uh, never, never been through here at night time. Big old steel bobber. Very cool. So Lake Whitney has a flying saucer crash site and I've discovered it. And by the way, the geocache is just right over there. Pretty darn cool geocache. The Big Bobber. <laughs> Lake Whitney's just right over there. Yeah. And I'm headed south. That way. Not that way, but that way. <laughs> uh, very cool find. Y'all ever get a chance to uh, stop here, check it out. I'm going to head on south. Uh, this geocache is called Four Corners, and this one here is in bad shape. It needs to be replaced. The container itself is all bashed up and everything. But anyway, this, uh, I guess this is Four Corner Ranch, and that's why this is called Four Corners. It was easy. It was uh, right there in the open and found it right away with the, uh, the GPS coordinates. I'm uh, just north of of uh, Waco, Waco. I'm just north of Waco, Waco, and south of uh, Whitney. So. All right, guys. I'm uh, still north of Waco, and I uh, stopped for another geocache. It's called Chillin' on a dirt road and it was uh, fairly easy to find the coordinates showed it to be at the mailboxes right there but it's not it's, it's over here just before you get into the dirt road in a tree that's all I'm telling you <laughs> a lot of people turning on this road here all right it's a very safe intersection. All right, I'm continuing on. Howdy, y'all. Lone Star Rider here. I'm here at the Waco Mammoth National Monument here in Texas. Yes, we have one of those here in Texas. I actually got another one too over in Glen Rose. I don't think the one in Glen Rose is national. It's state park. Anyway, I'm here. Uh, if you have a national park pass, it's worthless here. <laughs> you just, I mean, it doesn't get you in. Um, kind of like Mount Rushmore. It's free to get in, but you got to pay to park. 
uh, but it is uh, four dollars for seniors and five dollars for regular cost so it's not a whole lot of money uh, but it should anyway let's go check this out they got some uh, dig stuff here and some mammoth bones some mammoth bones uh, they're following COVID stuff because they got their gift shop outside instead of inside. And the only thing this is good for is the uh, restrooms. Yep. <laughs> and if you want a flat penny. <laughs> and this is where they have the gift shop instead of inside. Follow me to the mammoth. It's supposed to be over there. But we're going to follow the trail. And I could use some exercise. Even though my feet, I think, are barking at me. Yeah, barking at me. <laughs> I guess this is a uh, picnic area or a huh, picnic area. That's what it says. Well, it's nice and pretty out here. This is a nice little trail. And they have other trails out here you can go walk on. But that's not happening today. Here's one. This is an Eagle Project Troop 453. called the Eagle Trail, 0.453 miles, ain't that very far. This looks like a little amphitheater. Ranger can talk to you, to a group of people, which they're not doing, as far as I know. All right, we're entering the uh, dig shelter. Find of a lifetime, 1978, Baron and Eddie Bufkin. It says it's a one of a kind find, huh? Wandering in a dry creek bed, they accidentally discovered that. Oh, damn. That's a uh, pretty uh, fancy building. You see, this ranger's been following me around. I have. <laughs> All right, so the only thing we ask is that you don't dangle anything over the rail because our mammoths don't need your stuff. I don't have a problem with that. They don't need my stuff. <laughs> oh, wow. That's pretty wild. I guess that was the, uh, I guess that's the daddy mammoth. And the, uh, here's junior mammoth. That says unveiled, mammoth one. I don't know where mama mammoth is. Maybe it's the unknown. Historic camel, don't know. Saber cat. So I found mama, female. Another female, maybe this was mama. Don't know, <laughs> could be. All right. They have a 2016 mat here, National Park Services. All right, well that was pretty cool. Uh, is it worth to go out of your way? I don't know. <laughs> Matters how much you are into to, uh, old fossils, bones, and dinosaurs and stuff. Uh, it is pretty cool though. Uh, and it's worth the price. 
even though I was complaining about the uh, park pass thing. I mean, those things are expensive. <laughs> they are. Uh, if you go to a lot of national parks, they're worth getting, by the way. Same way with the Texas State Park. I have both. I'm done complaining about that. I'm off my soapbox. Anyhow, I am uh, going to go into Waco now. Don't have any more geocaches. and This was uh, a pretty good day of riding. Yeah. <laughs> and obviously I'm in pretty much Waco as it is. And I think I'm going to be parking at the Flying J tonight. I may even do a shower there at the truck stop. I don't know yet. There is a uh, Planet Fitness here. You can do that. It's already paid for. Might as well do that. It cost me 12 bucks at the Flying J. Just depends where I am and what time it is. I'm getting ready to go get something to eat. I'm starving. Hadn't ate since, what time was that? Around 10 o'clock, breakfast sandwich at the West End Diner in Cleveland, Texas. Good place to eat, by the way, if you want to go there. And it's recording. Y'all stick around. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> the cane, the cane, cane, cane. Um, I'm at this. Uh, I have one of those here. Uh, my light better this way than it is that way.